السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس ہاؤ آر یو آل آئی ہوپ یو آل ول بی فائن اینڈ گڈ ٹوڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ایکسپلین یو یونٹ ٹوینٹی ون ٹرانسفارمیشن آف سینٹینسز ایز آئی ٹاٹ یو بیفور ان فزیکل کلاس اینڈ آن لائن کلاس آلسو بٹ ناؤ ٹوڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ to again explain you so let's move on transformation of sentences transformation is a method of expressing the same idea meaning or concept in different grammatical forms when sentences are transformed from one type to another their essential meaning does not change but the range and variety of sentences form of a structure reduce the monotony of a repetitive style means the ex- uh, transformation shows the meaning concept of uh, different grammatical forms and ideas when you are making a sentence then you can be changed and transform in one type to another type also with their essential meaning and its essential meaning does not change but the sentence form structure can be reduced or uh, repetitive that's called the transformation transformation could be based on structure transformation could be based on a structure like simple compound complex compound complex or it might be based on meaning declarative interrogative imperative and exclamatory so these are the types of the transformation of sentences can be based on these types like simple compound complex and compound complex and uh, in this variety of the sentences and structure their meanings can be in declarative interrogative imperative and exclamatory so let's move on the kinds of transformation as i explain first is simple to compound A simple sentence can be converted into a compound sentence by replacing a word or a phrase with a coordinate clause. Means simple sentence that we will be converted simple sentence into compound sentence with replacing the phrase or with coordinate clauses. example he is respected for his honesty it is simple now change into compound he is honest so he is respected here you can see two sentences is merged for one same thing and same idea is showing in this sentence with other words or phrases that's called the compound because we have added new words with first sentence the phrase for his honesty has been expanded into a coordinate clause the coordinating conjunction is used to introduce the clause so here the honesty is showing phrase and uh, that is 
showing the expanded coordinated claws okay so the coordinating conjunction is so and that is introduce the clause also here is also the further examples of some simple and compound sentences she must get up early to catch her flight on time so it is simple sentence and how we can make in compound sentence simple compound sentences we have to add some more phrase or clauses she must get up early so she can catch her flight on time so we had it so right so we added so she that shows the conjunction clause and phrases to join the one sentence but the ideas are the same meaning are the same now second all are the same in spite of his sincere effort he did not succeed its compound sentence is he made a sincere effort yet he did not succeed see his disobedient led to him being punished he was disobedient and he was punished d despite the heat they continued playing outdoors its compound is it was very hot but the continued playing outdoors now the examples of simple to compound sentences are completed now move on to compound to simple so its definition in about the explanation of changes how do we change it into compound to simple sentences let's move on a compound sentence can be converted into a simple sentence by changing one of the coordinate clauses using a participle for a verb or by using a prepositional phrase an infinitive or a gerund the coordinating conjunction in the compound sentences needs to be removed when a compound sentence is transformed into a simple sentence means ke when we are <coughs> making the compound sentences sentences and that will be converted into simple sentence by changing the coordinating clause with the help of coordinating clause we can change the compound sentence into simple sentence by using the participle of the verb and preposition phrases infinitive and gerund also but the coordinating conjunction compound sentences needs to be removed when we are making a compound sentences to cut transform into a simple sentence so example are here the curtain fell and the people got up to leave its compound and what is the simple in it the curtain having fallen the people got up to leave begin with the participle b he made his best effort but did not succeed it's simple in spite of making his best effort he did not succeed begin with a prepositional phrase you must take special classes or you will not pass your french exam you must take special classes to pass your french exam use an infinitive d you must not interrupt the speaker as this is rude in 
instructed the speaker is rude use a gerund so these are the example of compound to simple sentences now let's move on the simple to complex a simple sentence can be converted into a complex sentence by expanding verb or phrase into a subordinate noun clause adjective clause or adverb clause it means when we are making sentence and that will be converted into complex sentence by expanding verb phrase into a subordinate noun clause we can use adjective clause we can use uh, adverb clause and i have explained you in before video what is adjective and adverb okay and noun also so example is he is expected to arrive shortly its complex sentence is it is expected that he will arrive shortly subordinate noun clause here we are using the noun clause b despite the heavy rain all the students attended school though it rained heavily all the students attended school subordinate adverb clause of concession here we are using the subordinate adverb clause c my sister a resident of lahore has just graduated my sister who lives in lahore has just graduated subordinate adjective clause here we are using the subordinate adjective clause so in these sentences we have used the noun clause adverb clause and adjective clause so now let's move on to complex to simple here we did simple to complex and now we are going to do complex to simple so let's move on the rule stated above is reversed when a complex sentence is transformed into a compound sentence here the rule of uh, making of complex to simple sentence is reversed right so we can transform any compound sentence into simple or complex to simple is easy and that will be reversed examples are when he was born is not known it's complex now see the simple sentence the exact date of his birth is unknown b he spent his vacation in the town where he was born it's a subordinate adjective clause so simple is he spent his vacation in the place of his birth c we made him angry because we disobeyed him subordinate adverb clause having disobeyed him we made him angry so here the complex sentences of noun clause adjective clause and adverb clauses we have done it in the complex to simple sentences with the changes of noun clause adjective clause and adverb clause now compound to complex when a compound sentence is converted into a complex sentence the second quadrant clause in the compound sentence is made into the independent clause of the complex sentence in this uh, compound to complex sentence transformed we can convert any compound sentence into complex sentence but we we have to use the second quadrant clause in the compound sentences and made it into independent clause for to make of the complex sentences so 
here are the examples of the compound complex sentences. Here, A, he wanted some money and he got it. It is compound sentence. Now, change into complex, transformed. He got the money that he wanted. So, that is the change and transformed into complex sentences. As I explained above. B. He is a liar and I can prove it. I can prove that he is liar. It's a complex sentence. The rule stated above is reversed when complex sentence is transformed into compound sentence. When we are making complex to compound, the rule of the sentences is reversed. So, example is, she has lost the book which she borrowed yesterday. It is complex. Now, she borrowed the book yesterday but she has lost it. It is changed into or transformed into compound sentences. Now here we have the changing of de degrees of comparison. We know that adjective and adverb have uh, positive comparative and separative degrees. It is possible to transform the grammatical form or structure of a sentence by interchanging the degrees of comparison and uh, sorry of objective and adverb without alternating the meaning of the sentences. So as you know that the degrees of adjective positive comparative and superlative degrees. So we can change that and transform that into grammatical form or structure by using the interchanging degrees of the comparison of adjective and adverb with their alternating meaning. So we can use grammatical form of structure in the comparison of degrees. So look at the first changing positive degree into comparative. To transform the positive degree into comparative as and so are left out. The adjective adverb is put in the comparative form and used with the conjunction then. The affirmative sentence is made negative and negative effort. Example, she is as wise as her sister. So, it is the positive degree is used here. Now, we are going to make it in a comparative degree. Her sister is not wiser than she. So, here we make it wise into comparison of her sister that is we wiser. We make in the wiser and we change and transform into the degree of comparison so we make the sentence uh, so you word wise to wiser now changing the comparative degree to convert comparative degree to superlative any other is left out of the sentence and the adjective adverb is changed into the superlative degree like uh, example this design is more attractive than any other I have seen so far it is comparative so change into positive and the superlative no other design I have seen so far is so as attractive as this it is the positive now change into superlative this is the most attractive design I have seen so far. It's superlative. So here we make attractive word superlative with the help of most. 
word we used here the word most that is showing the superlative form of the degree so still i hope you got it and understand this topic of uh, transformation of sentences so now till then bye take care